And it's an early journey for us. Um, we strategically integrated AI into several key areas. Um, and the core of it being um, an AI powered platform that extends reach um, of a already limited healthcare workforce. This is true across the world um, with limited healthcare workforce population ratios um, that facilitates delivery of health information um, in a local language um, and enhances decision making. So we've designed this to improve health needs uh, recognition, so people's ability to recognize when they have a health need in a timely manner, um, to navigate the healthcare system and to drive timely and appropriate care um, enabling greater participation of underserved communities. Um, and so the platform offers um, various components, and I'll speak to two um, for, for this setting. And the first is on patient engagement. So by leveraging um, natural language processing and machine learning algorithms, um, our AI-enhanced chat chatbots are delivering personalized health education um, and nudge nudging positive health behaviors, uh, providing initial triage and a guide to patients to um, appropriate care. And these are delivered by both online and offline channels via SMS, via WhatsApp chats, um, and via online chats on our virtual care platform. Um, and then the second component is around community health worker empowerment, um, where we're using AI decision support tools to equip our healthcare workers, our community healthcare workers, uh, with real time insights during community screenings and triage, ensuring that they're more comprehensive. Uh, screenings being applied, um, they're being able to catch more, um, and that they are providing more accurate um, advisory to the communities that they're screening. And so these AI components are um, continuously learning and adapt uh, based on these user interactions and feedback further refining the system. Um, and we're starting to see some early success from um, these AI powered solutions. So one, our teleguidance and referral system um, has facilitated um, um, uh, about 900 referrals to date. We've seen about a 30% increase in early detection of pregnancy, um, health gaps and related uh, complications. Um, our initial focus has really been on user satisfaction and perception as we were introducing these tools for the first time, people who've never used them before. Um, and we've achieved an above 80% user satisfaction rate on this tool. So just highlighting an important bit, I think the first bit really in, in user acceptance um, and value to both um, users and healthcare workers in this scenario. Um, we've seen some early um, operational efficiency with a 77% reduction in turnaround time in, in our speed to respond to, to users. Um, so uh, some, some good wins there. Um, and ultimately, you know, what we're looking at from an impact perspective is increasing um, accessibility. So through localized language, um, AI delivery, uh, bringing health information closer to underserved communities, uh, make it more inclusive and accessible to everybody. Um, and so looking ahead, our ambition is, is twofold. We're looking to um, deepen our um, evaluation of impact, understanding the economic impact, um, you know, reduction in healthcare expenditure by households, um, evaluation of um, um, emergencies that are averted as a result of these interventions, um, and then understanding improvements in the efficiency of utilization of the primary healthcare uh, level by enabling um, decision support at that at that level. Um, and looking at opportunities to further integrate health financing solutions in targeted ways to the people who are engaging on these platforms and refine and scale our AI powered tools.